let's learn about angles. So what is an angle? So an angle is formed when two lines meet at a vertex. So this right here is a vertex. How is an angle measured? So an angle is measured in degrees using a protractor. So this tool is a protractor and this is used to measure angles. And this angle, if we look at these inside numbers here, it goes up to 40. So this is 40 degrees. So there are a few types of angles. You are going to be learning about four of them this year. So the first one is a straight line, which is a straight angle, and that measures at 180 degrees. The next angle is a right angle, and that measures at 90 degrees, and it looks like an L. So there are two lines that are perpendicular. Perpendicular means it forms a 90 degree angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, like this one. And an acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So let's look at how we know that a straight line is 180 degrees. So if I take my protractor and I bring it down onto the line so that it covers the bottom line completely, and I look at the outside numbers from zero all the way around, it says 180 degrees. If I look at my inside numbers and I go all the way around, it also says 180 degrees. So I know that a straight line is 180 degrees. Let's look at how to measure acute angles. So when I'm measuring any angle, I need to focus on where these two lines here meet. So that is where I want my vertex of my angle to be so that I know I'm measuring accurately. So I'll take my protractor and I'll place it on top of my angle and see where those two lines on the protractor meet, that is where my vertex is. So if I look at where my line is falling, because I know it's less than 90 degrees and my angle is facing in this direction, I'm going to use the smaller numbers on the inside of the protractor. So this measures at about 36 degrees. So if my angle is facing in this direction, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my protractor on top of my angle, make sure it's right at that vertex. And I'm going to use the outside numbers if my angle is facing in this direction and it is acute. So this is measuring at 20 degrees. Let's look at how to measure an obtuse angle. So remember an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So I have my protractor. I'm going to place it over my angle. Make sure where these two lines meet on the protractor is where my vertex is. And so if I'm measuring an angle that's facing in this direction, I'm going to use the inside numbers. And if I go to where my line is, that is about 132 degrees. So if I'm measuring an angle that's going in this direction, that's open in that direction, I place my protractor on top of my angle and I'm going to use the outside numbers to measure. And this measures at about 106 degrees. Measuring right angles. So I know an angle is a right angle if my lines are perpendicular, which means it forms a 90 degree angle and it looks like an L. So we want to make sure that we're still measuring our 90 degree angles just to be sure that it isn't 91 or 89 to make sure that it is in fact 90 degrees. So I'm going to take my protractor, line it up, and whether I'm using the inside or outside numbers, it still points to 90 degrees. If my angle is facing the other direction, same thing. Whether I'm using the inside or outside numbers, it still says 90 degrees. Let's look at how you can draw an angle on Google Slides. So I have a picture of a protractor here that I'm going to use to help me. And next I'm going to choose a line, a type of line. I'm going to choose the arrow. And I'm going to click, hold down my shift key if I'm on a computer and that will give me a nice straight line. I'm going to change the weight so that makes it thicker. And then I'm going to change the color so it's easier for me to see. 
So just like when we're measuring angles, where these two lines meet here is where I want the end of my line to be. So it is right there at the end of my line and it's touching these two lines here on the protractor. So next I'm going to choose my circle tool and say I want a 60 degree line. So I'm gonna to go to 60 and I'm going to draw a little dot. So there's a little dot there. So I'll move my protractor over. I'll go back to my arrow. And then now I'm going to go back to my arrow. So I've clicked my arrow and I'm going to extend it to that line that I drew. And I will change the weight again, change the color. And there's my 60 degree angle. So that was how to draw an acute angle. What if I want to draw an obtuse angle? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of what I had and I'm going to start again with my arrow line tool and I'm going to draw my line, change the weight, change the color, place my protractor on top and then this time we'll do an angle that is 130 degrees. So when I'm going this way, I'm using my inside numbers. So 130 is right there. I'm going to choose my circle tool and I'll put a little circle at 130. Move that out of the way. Choose my arrow tool. Start from here. Make sure you're intersecting your circle. Change the color, change the weight, and you have a 130 degree angle.